there's a human mouth inside of there. <laughs> Croca doodle do. I'm writing that. Do you think the eyelid is removed enough? <laughs> Come here. Hey, Brat Pack. Welcome to our video. This footage is from our March pre-made drop. This happens on Twitch every single month. You can purchase new, one-of-a-kind fursuits on stream ahead of the drop on our website. Since this is from our March show, all of these pre-mades have found homes, so I guess you'll just have to get geared up for our drop April 23rd, where this one will be. Or the next one if you're watching after that. Let's jump right into the video. <laughs> and I'm here, magically. <laughs> so, the first one. Guess who's this little bovine? The slate model goat is who? <laughs> this is one is a rare breed, but one with tons of personality for sure. Shake that little tail for them. <laughs> Have you ever seen a goat dance like this? Our next contestant is the Dusty Donkey. <laughs> Please brush the dust off yourself and make way for Dusty Donkey. This equine spends a lot of his time roaming the desert to find the coolest cacti. Yes, and you're very welcome. Always happy to answer questions. Actually, for real, if you guys have questions, whether it's about the pre maze that we're showcasing today or just general questions, feel free to ask at any time. Uh, when do you have commissions open? Always. We are always open for commissions. Since we're a full team of folks that do this full time, uh, we are always able to stay open. Uh, oh, never mind. I was really excited about the. <laughs> you tried. <laughs> <laughs> we only hire the most professional of dancers for our pre-made runways. Our next contestant is the extremely delicate and light in a way that seems too perfect for this world, the ethereal cloud dragon. I would say that I'm not the one who makes the suits, though. We have an amazing team of folks who does all the works on the suits. Uh, actually, the current model is Seraph, who helps with a lot of the head carves and lots of things of that sort. So they do amazing work and we love them for it. I just handle the talky talks over the internet with people. Where you put, will you ever put squeakers in your suits? Uh, if someone commissions us for that, we can do it. But we probably won't do it in a pre-made. <laughs> One of our team members said, no. We can do it upon commission request or as a request, maybe adding it to a pre-made, but uh, not automatically. Oh, Callaway said, y'all are really outdoing yourself these last few rounds. Thank you so much, Callaway. Jewel said, that's a stunning suit. For the reps that come with them, are they gender neutral so the purchaser can select gender? They are completely gender neutral. We do, like, sometimes we'll pronoun them here just for the fun of it, but they can be any gender that you want, whether that is male, female, non-binary, agender, whatever. Literally, they, they can be whatever you want to be. Yes, so optional pre-made upgrades. Speaking of which, we offer uh, we offer headliners, eyelids, feet, bodies. Um, if you are looking for other types of liners, we can talk to you about that as well. Um, so the liners and eyelids specifically are options that are available at checkout when ordering one of your pre-mades from our website. Uh, Ash Ender said, this is just awesome. I'm trying to drop one pre-made this month, but this many fursuits a month is just so amazing. Even if lots of people aren't working on it, it's just awesome. Thank you, we appreciate the kind words. Uh, we've spent a lot of years and time uh, really streamlining our processes to make sure that we're able to consistently draw pre-mades and commissions uh, at, a, uh, at a higher rate. Um, so practice, keep going, keep doing it. Like, it's super awesome. We love getting to see other makers and get to know y'all. 
Yes. And also, just so you all know, this is a Twitch exclusive. Uh, I mean, if they don't sell here, they'll eventually come out. But you are the first to see them and to have them. So I put the link in the chat again. So our next model, our next contestant, our next, our next victim, <laughs> ironically. And we have someone here. I know a few folks have been waiting for this one. The tropical gator dog. What's that in the water? Is that a gator? Is that a dog? Come closer, closer. It's a tropical gator dog. Brr. I don't know why. I'm poke your eyes. Ha ha ha! I took your eyes. <laughs> now he's so happy looking. Beautiful. I meant to say beautimus and then beautiful, I heard, I and like, it was beautiful. Like, that sounded like you mixed two like phrases together. <laughs> Are you ready to rock? The rock and goat is for sure. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> show the camera, please. Do you think the eyelid is removed enough? <laughs> Come here. And all lemons are queens, kings, royalty. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate Oh, just perfect timing for that statement. <laughs> kings, queens, and royalty, as you can tell. <laughs> Sitting pretty. It's a day better. Oh, you boop the nose. I'll boop the nose for you. I booped. I booped it. How does this look on me? Is that a good look? Look at it. Okay. Spotted Wizette sure is making a scene today. <laughs> 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 she, she's decked out with some super sick jewelry and some moody airbrushing around her eyes. This gal is a beautiful deep purple with lots and lots of black spots. She includes sleeves, lovely hand paws, and a cute little tail. <laughs> Can you step closer to the wall and do that again? Perfect. Great job. Come rock out with this rad busta lid. I have a feeling that this whole time she's just gonna be, oh, do I have to? She is very pretty. I love all those piercings. Do you wanna go up closer and show off some of Cause you have piercings in both ears and your little lip piercing. Not that, not, nope, not like that. Now <laughs> there's a human mouth inside of there. <laughs> Here, do you want to just like, ah, uh, really? <laughs> have you ever made a snake? We have not, and I want us to make a snake. Another one to add to the list for sure. Yeah, we haven't done a snake, uh, but we would love to. Uh, oh, how would you do a snake if it has no legs? Uh, so when anthropomorph anthropomorphizing animal, <laughs> what are you doing? Yes. The most professional of dancers. Um, oh, I see. <laughs> but when you're anthropomorphizing an animal, uh, you can give it human body parts. So if they don't normally have arms and legs, but then all of a sudden they have arms and legs, then they can have arms and legs. Crocodoodle do. A crocodile chicken rooster. Crocodoodle do. <laughs> no, I'm. You're ready. <laughs> Crocodoodle do. I'm writing that. St. Bernard is showing, sold as now as well. Oh, the yes. St. Bernard were sold. Oh, Thank you. Who bought the St. Bernard? If you said it above, I'm sorry I didn't see it. I had to kind of scroll fast. Uh, so our next contestant, I'm gonna have to make these up on the fly, is the giraffe. The giraffe. 
Oh wait, do it again. I forgot, I missed the joke. It's a giraffe! One more time. It's a giraffe! <laughs> okay, dude, do, do you think we did the meme enough? Do you think that was enough memeing? <laughs> hey guys, hi, dabs. I'm sorry. Anyways, there's our cringe compilation for for you. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what I thought of too. Patrick going, oh, oh it's a giraffe. <laughs> On the episode where they were blowing a... Uh, I'm sorry. Anyways, I love uh, Spongebob way too much. I thought that said pooping into stream and not instead of popping into stream. And I uh, thank you all for being here and pooping into stream. <laughs> so awesome. Thank you all. Have a great rest of your day, evening, night, whatever time it is. And we will see you next time. Make sure before you go to punch that subscribe button and kick that bell. <laughs> Bye.